Good morning, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. However, you're catching us, Facebook on the live. Um, it's Marcus here, uh, waiting for my notification to go out so people can see that I'm on and do my sound check. And let's make sure. And here we go. Uh, so it is July 2nd. It's July 2nd. Uh, let's see. Perfect. That's my sound check. Good morning, everybody tuning in. Um, got a couple people jumping on board now. Um, good morning, Joel. Uh, Joel's always great with dropping a comment right away. Hashtag live Arizona. Joel is in Arizona. Um, former Ellenville resident. Um, if you're tuning in, just drop us a comment. Hashtag live and where you're tuning in from. That'd be perfect. A um, couple of things going on. It's been a crazy week here for, for staffing like really crazy week like i said last week the week before then we need to hire some new people and um and it's i could probably make a whole video about the dilemmas of, of hiring staff this last week um had several applicants which is great that's great news people walking in the door um literally um you all i always hire more than i need because i know if you hire four two people turn out and these days, if you hire four, you're lucky if one person turns out. Um, and it's just, you know, they're excited to get, get the job. And then once they get into it, and I'm, I have a policy where I never ask people to quit their other job until they work a couple shifts with us, just to make sure that they like it here. Um, just because you're accepting a new job. So you work a couple shifts, make sure you like it, make sure we like you. And then you can formally give your other boss two weeks notice. Don't leave them high and dry, because if you leave them high and dry, you're going to leave me high and dry. And, you know, I, it was just, it was crazy the last, the last couple of days, um, people hiring, people quitting, um, then coming back to work. Um, I actually hired five, four new people, four new people, four new people. I had a person call out, said, I can't come to work because I don't have any clothes to wear. Um, I had a person that, that worked a couple shifts, quit. And then ended up saying, well, like, I'm available to work now nights. And so really confusing. Um, had a person that, uh, that came in that um, was helping me in the kitchen. And um, we we're going off to do an off-premise party. And he goes, I can't stay for the whole party. And I was like, uh, don't play that game with me. I can't. <laughs> You're not dictating your hours to me. Um, you're high, being hired to, to work. And in the restaurant business, we just can't predict when things end. Um, so... Um, you know, it sucks starting a job and telling your boss that, yeah, I'll work the party with you, but I'm not staying for the whole party and I got to get out of here. And at that point, I just look at the person and say, well, I'll do it myself. I don't need you at all. Um, even though I do need the, do need the people. Um, but I just don't like being put back into a corner like that, especially on day one, two or three or any day. I don't like being backed in a corner like that. So that's a little frustrating. So, um, but I think out of all of this, we will be able to, to get one more solid person, uh, in the kitchen. Uh, from all of this is the plan. Um, so good morning, everybody tuning in. Just drop a comment, hashtag live, and we are tuning in from. Um, I want to talk about our Hudson Valley tours that we're doing, our uh, private tours. So one of the things for Courtney, our daughter, to come back to work for us was we've started this a spinoff on VIP winery vacations uh, called Your Car, Our Driver, Hudson Valley Tours. And um, we basically have a licensed insured driver that comes to your property and drives your car around the Hudson Valley to wineries, breweries, distilleries. And um, we literally just got our checkbooks the other day. A little, two days ago, we just got the checkbook. We just got our EIN number. We got incorporated. Um, so we're really super excited. Our insurance is back. And so we're like we're like now we're getting our merchant account because we have all the things back. So we're getting a merchant account to accept credit cards. So that's how new this business is. Like it's a really new business, like super new. And if somebody wanted to call us and book us today and pay for it, you'd run it, we'd run it through the enrollment time merchant services, uh, merchant services being credit cards, um, unless you paid cash. Um, so that's not an issue, but you know, we wanted to, to spin this off on its own entity. So that was the story with that. So, um, but now that we are ready to rock and roll, or almost ready to rock and roll, because we need our merchant services. So we're ninety-eight percent of the way there with everything, with all the legal stuff. Um, we placed a couple ads. Um, we got one response from an ad, but people are finding us organically, which is really awesome. Organically on the internet, where they're going on Google and searching wine tours in the Hudson Valley, and we're coming up, and we're starting to get phone calls which is fantastic. So I just wanted to um, 
reiterate on how this works. If you're on our email list, you, there's been in the email a lot, and people have been clicking it. And if you clicked it, I know who you are because we track all the clicks in our emails. Just like Facebook tracks your clicks and your likes and where you're navigating in um, in um, Facebook, we do that in our emails. So if you click a link to our specials, to our menu, to our beer dinner, there's always a tag there that you can now put in a separate list of a beer fan if you click a beer dinner link or when you click a wine dinner link you get tagged um, based upon your actions so if you click the italy trip um, chances are if i need to sell tickets on the italy trip you're going to get a special email that the rest of the ten thousand people are not going to get and there might be 1500 of you that get that and if you click it again or open it then you get to the next level so it's 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 really marketing on, on steroids based upon actions which has made facebook so um uh, well known for their how their ads work um, and and generating target audiences, so um, but we're now on, and I've even done we've done really no SEO work at all. We've done really no SEO work, so people are finding us. I think I'm going to um, go out and um, get my virtual assistant or get somebody that can really do an insane job for SEO work on this. So here's how it works: we drive your car. One of our drivers drives your car. They come to your location to your Airbnb, to your house, to your friend's house, to wherever, and we pick you up in your, we, we, we get there, we drive your car to a winery, brewery, distillery, lunch, whatever it is. Um, you might not even be doing a winery tour. You might just want to say, hey, we're going out for the afternoon and we just want to, everybody wants to drink. So we're, you know, nobody needs to be the DD anymore. It's $42 an hour. Um, it's a deal compared to hiring a limo and other things. Um, buses, things like that. It's a really a great deal compared to an Uber. It's a fantastic deal, right? So if you Ubered out somewhere for twenty bucks and Ubered back, you know, for twenty bucks, and then Ubered one more place, um, you know, you, so we can literally take you around like crazy, um, all through the Hudson Valley to wineries, brewers, and sellers. We'll help you plan those too. Um, we'll even help you if you're coming up from New York City, you need a hotel to stay in. We can help you plan that out. We can help you pick out areas. We're gonna do a lot more resources on our website. For some reason, I would share the website, but Facebook doesn't like the website. Um, they've blocked it as a spam website. And Facebook does that sometimes. And ever since COVID, I've not been able to communicate with anybody on Facebook about this. And it's a bummer um, because you can contest it. And I've had another website of mine that they thought was spammy. Um, they just don't like, and I've had, I have this, certificate um, secured and everything the SSL certificate on there secured and just don't know what's happening Facebook has not been able to give me the answer since since COVID has happened um, also I would share the link it's gonna block the link from going which is which is a bummer um, so aroma time website was like that for a while too I guess they just take some websites and say hey what's going on here and maybe because it's an alcohol website they don't like it I bet I bet that's probably it because it has to selling wine trips and alcohol that they probably don't like that Facebook. So that's why they're probably blocking it from me. If anybody knows more specifics on that, I would love to know more information. Um, so $42 an hour, we pick you up. Um, you know, your car probably seats four people comfortably. You know, three people in the back, one person in front. So two couples, if you have a third row, you can seat another two to three people. So you can do probably up to seven people, six, seven people, depending on how bigger cars. If you have a minivan, you know, obviously you can pack in nine people in a minivan. Um, and we can drive your car. So it is literally the most affordable way to go out um, and see the wineries, the breweries, distilleries, farms, go for a restaurant, uh, lunch, whatever, dinner, and get home safely. Um, it's a lot cheaper than a limo, uh, like I said, um, and definitely a lot cheaper than a DWI and a lot safer. So all of our drivers are... Um, <laughs> All their licenses are checked out. Um, they're uh, responsible people, so they have to meet certain criteria through our process or a screen process uh, between school bus drivers with CDLs and off-duty police officers. Uh, everybody is is checked out to be 100% legit, and of course, we cover we cover the insurance and all that kind of stuff. So that's the good news: um, insurance and fully insured. And uh, we'll get you to where you need to go safely. So that's the story with that. So it's pretty exciting that people are calling and finding us. And um, that's the story with that. So uh, let's see. It's July 4th weekend. It was a little crummy out last night. So we did indoor dining. If you're thinking about coming out, you must call to make a reservation. Because when it's raining out, we're only inside. And I still don't have all my tables inside. I still don't have all my tables inside um, because we have racks of food still and we're in the process of getting rid of it and we sat every single table last night and it really wasn't rainy 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 you could have sat outside under the tent 
Um, it's just unfair to my staff to run back and forth in the rain. Um, but we did have, obviously, more tables outside. So that's the story with that. Um, I don't even know what the weather forecast is here. Um, for the rest of the weekend. Obviously, right, it changes, right? So today, it's not going to rain until 3 o'clock, 50% chance. Saturday and Sunday, 70 and 50% chance. And Monday, um, high 81, partly sunny. Uh, 72 degrees high today, 64 tomorrow, and 73 on Sunday. So those are nice temperatures. Um, as long as the humidity is tamed down, but it's not right now. There's lots of fog out there, and the humidity is rampant out there. Um, and then Monday, back to 81. And Tuesday, 91. Jamie and I are going Tuesday up to Jamestown to watch Justin play baseball. Justin's doing great up there. He keeps coming in the... Um, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth inning. He's a setup guy, um, but he's been getting the wins a lot. He comes in and gets the win or the save. Um, so between the setup guy and the closer, um, he's doing a fantastic job and it's gotten racked up a few wins, racked up a few saves. Uh, so he's doing really, really well up there. And everybody keeps telling him, you know, that's just a $10 million a year job you're doing once you move up to the next level. So um, that's super exciting. His uh, baseball, his uh, pitching coach is a scout for the, um, for the uh, um, Philadelphia Phillies. So his pitching coach, good guy, scout for the Philadelphia Phillies, and he, he pulled him over, uh, pulled him aside the first week, him and another pitcher. It's doing really well, and he said, "Hey, you two are definitely, definitely next lever, let level, level um, which means majors. You two are definitely next level. Um, if you want me, I'll work with you privately and and give you some more pointers. Take it or leave it. It's up to you." So Justin's been working with him, changed like a couple of small things, um, and has found that you know he you know like when you change anything like your your swing, your golf swing, or something, you have to adjust. And it seems like you get a little worse before you get better. So Justin was a little frustrated because like, oh changing a couple things up and I'm, you know, I'm not quite, um, what I was, you know, without doing this, but of course it's for the, it's for the better, right? So it's for the better good to move forward in the right stance or whatever. So Justin took his advice and Justin's moving forward. Justin's already back up to, um, to the upper eighties, um, with his pitches. He's a lefty. So, um, that's, uh, that's in a good range there. And he's got some a couple of nice, nasty pitches, and he's racking up the strikeouts and the wins, so that's really good. So like everybody says, he's doing about a $10 million a year job right now if he was in the majors. So that is super exciting. Um, let's see. Um, Monday night, we have our champagne dinner here at the restaurant, New York Champagnes. New York Champagnes are making a big mark right now. They're winning contests and international awards, actually even in Champagne, France, against true champagnes. Uh, between the Pominock and Herman Weimer and Ravines, and even here in the Hudson Valley, um, the White Cliff uh, sparkling is just a gem. Um, there's a lot of gems here. Sparkling Point, the farthest winery out in North Fork uh, towards Orient. Orient Point um, makes only sparkling true Method Champenois, 11 different wines they make uh, that are all Method Champenois that are really just awesome, awesome bottles of bubbles. Awesome bottles of bubbles. So we're doing bubbles, New York bubbles, traditional method champagne on um, Monday night in the garden with oysters and seared scallops. I'll be out there cooking. Hopefully the weather looks like it'll be fine. It'll be a little warm, but that'll be fine. And uh, this is limited seats. So we originally were going to do 12 people or 18 people. And, you know, and once you sell out, you're like, well, let's just do a, people call. And we're like, okay, let's just sell them a few more tickets. So we literally opened it up. We're at 18 now. Um, it's forty nine dollars a person, and I guess we can do more if you want to. If you want to take advantage of that, that's no problem. So uh, that's it. Joel says, "What about the snowboards who don't want to drive to their winter homes in Florida?" Don't know what that was pertaining to, Joel. I'm sure you commented a certain certain thing I said in the live, but of course I didn't, I'm now seeing the comments, so I don't see what it was about. Um, so I'm um, sorry about that, Joel. That I can't answer that. I don't know the context of the question. Joel says, don't burn people's, don't burn bridges, people. Give notice, exactly. You know, it's amazing because I had another person quit, um, just like, uh, like, that's it. I'm, you know, and it, this person had a medical excuse. Um, I haven't seen the medical excuse. They just, you know, said they have a medical excuse. But, you know, and this is a grown person that just calls and says, I'm not coming back. And, folks, when you do this, this is what you teach your kids. 
this is what you teach your kids um, is the same habit. It's like it's like it's like eating. Uh, oh, the car service role. Yeah, we can we can drive somebody to Florida, I guess, right? Yeah, <laughs> 20, 25 hour drive at forty two dollars an hour. It just means to get the person back home, our driver. But uh, that's a good idea. Um, so what you do, like kids are so moldable, whether they're three years old, two years old, or 18 years old, or 16 years old, they follow suit of their parents. And if a parent is quitting a job and just walking out, you're not teaching your children anything of value, ethics, morals. You're not really teaching them anything because um, your kids will know that it's okay to do that because they saw mom and dad do that. And granted, whether it could be a legitimate excuse or not, there are certain ways to handle exiting a job. Like here is a note from my doctor. Unfortunately, I have issues with my foot. Um, I can work other times doing other things. I'm really sorry to leave you in a bind. Um, I wasn't expecting this, uh, but I am available for office work or seated work or things like that. I'm, I can still do this, this, and this. Instead of just calling and saying, hey, I quit. I'm gone. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Um, which is understandable if that happens for medical reasons. But some people just like walk out on their job and be like, that's it. And, and this, happens with, this happens with diet. I see a lot of kids, and this happens with lazy kids too, kids that are like, I don't know why my son sleeps all day. I don't know why my daughter does this. I don't know why. Um, because either you let them get away with it or you've shown them that you do that as well. So there's the, it's two ways. You let them get away with it and you've done it. So they've learned it from somewhere, right? Um, and if they didn't learn it from you, you let them get away with it. You didn't teach them that, hey, this is what, uh, you know. And, and if you, folks, if you don't teach your kids, especially how to eat right, McDonald's is going to teach them because McDonald's is going to place an ad and lure them in. Burger King's in a Coke, Pepsi, Snickers, Reese's, all Hershey's. Those are the ones who are going to teach your kids how to, how to eat if you don't teach them how to eat right. And by you pulling into McDonald's and like, yeah, okay, it's our once a month McDonald's. Your kids at two years old, three years old don't know it's your once a month trip to McDonald's. They just know, hey, I'm getting McDonald's. It's greasy. There's chemicals in it. And I'm addicted to it and I want more and more and more. Um, so even though you're like, well, I only do it once a month, a two-year-old, a three-year-old, a five-year-old can't rationalize that, um, that it's a once a month treat. They just know that what they're getting is, is really spiking their endorphins, right? And, um, you know, excite their ex, 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 excitotoxins, whatever it is, and, and making them feel in a good mood. Um, so they just know that they want that food again. So folks, you have to teach your kids, um, how to, how to how to get a job, how to keep a job, how to leave a job, super important. I think a lot of a lot of these classes like that I took or these classes that I took in, in college and in high school, like how to make your resume look good, how to this, this, and this, but it was never like how to properly leave a job, how to like not to burn bridges. Um, I, so I think that's something that needs to, um, needs to happen in schools. And maybe some teachers do teach it, but I know my teachers weren't. They were just like, build us resume 101 list your jobs and this and that and that and we'll help you do this and this and that and that was it so all right folks i gotta get going it's 8 41 everybody have an amazing day um if you're looking for our car service to drive you on a hudson valley private tour these are private tours this is you and your friends in your car with our licensed insured driver um give us a call um 647-3000 or 272-2070 that line will go right to courtney 272-2070 and go to vip winerievacations.com for more information and uh, have a great weekend everybody